Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm making this video to show you how you can fix your Galaxy Note 8 after it goes to 0% charge and it completely dies and stops charging. So the problem with the phone is that the new USB connection uses a controller that needs a little bit of energy that is drawn from the battery and not the cable itself when you're plugging it in. So when the battery goes to 0%, the, the phone has no way to restart the charging mechanism. That's a big problem. And Samsung already knows about it. Uh, they've acknowledged the problem. I had that problem with my own phone, which is right here. It's, an, it's a Note 8, as you can see. And the problem was that I was driving. I had Google Maps on. And the battery died as I was driving. And it completely drained the battery. When I got home, I, I plugged in the phone. And uh, it wouldn't charge anymore. So it was completely dead. And I called Samsung and got on the service call with them. And they are replacing the devices on a case-by-case um, -case basis. But the problem with this is that although they did give me a UPS label to ship the phone back to them and they would fix it or uh, or send me a, a, another one, a repla replacement device, there's there's a few problems with this. So number one, it takes three or five business days for them to get the phone. It takes five to seven business days to the, for them to fix it and another three to five to get it back. So if you do the math on it, it's going to be about two weeks for your phone uh, from when you send it to you know, while you get it back and there's no loaner phone or no replacement phone that we're going to send you before that now the second problem with that is that if you bought your now your note 8 brand new what ends up happening is that samsung will send you a refurbished phone and most of the times the phones will be scratched they will not be perfect maybe with burnt screens maybe they were using them for demo displays or whatnot and what essentially ends up happening is that you get up getting a refurbished phone and but you're paying a you're paying a full price so you end up getting a refurbished phone for the price of a brand new one and to me that wasn't acceptable so when i knew that was going to happen i started looking for some solutions and back in my um, electronics box of forgotten things that i have i found the wireless charger so i started thinking maybe this is a solution and make sure you watch this video to the end because this is how you can solve it. And I'm putting a link below with a charger you can buy very inexpensively from um, Amazon. You just click on it, you can purchase that. It's around 20 bucks and it works great. So uh, after my phone wouldn't restart, I tried it all, plugging it in. I'm plugging it many, many times. I saw on Reddit some postings that said, hey, if you keep plugging it in and out, in and out, in and out every 30 seconds or so for about 30 minutes, eventually it will work. I did that, it did not work. So all the controller needs is a little bit of energy from the battery to be able to restart the charging mechanism. So what I did is place the phone completely unplugged on the actual uh, wireless charging pad. And of course, nothing happened. It just started charging very slowly. And then I went ahead and plugged in the um, USB cable to the, to the phone. Nothing happened. Unplugged it plugged it back in while it was on the actual wireless charging pad and that restarted the phone. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and restart my phone and now it's working. It was completely dead. And when I was on the call with Samsung, they gave me some instructions of pushing power and the uh, volume down button to be able to go into recovery mode. That didn't work. They also told me to push the up key, Bixby, and then the power key. I guess that is another recovery mode. I've never used it. That didn't work at all. After going through all the troubleshooting, it didn't work. So now you guys know how to fix your Samsung Note 8. If you bought this device new, don't end up paying full price for a refurbished one. Even though Samsung may replace it for you, I don't think that's fair. So this phone, I've only had it for less than a month. And it's about three weeks now, actually. And it's a brand new phone, and it's just unacceptable that something like that would happen. So you guys know how to fix it now. Go get a wireless charger. Go through the procedure I just told you, put it on the wireless charger, leave it there for a few minutes, plug in the USB cable. If that doesn't work, unplug it again, and then plug it again until it starts charging. And once it starts charging, don't turn the phone on right away. Just wait until it has at least 20, 30% charge or even let it charge all the way, and then you can use it again. I am not going to let my phone go to 0% again because I don't want to break it. I don't want anything to happen to it. I have some sensitive data on it. When I talked to Samsung, they were like, you know, your data is going to be completely all gone. You're not going to be able to do anything about it. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please leave me comments or questions below. 
If you leave me a comment or a question, I'll make sure to respond it and we can connect and I can help you restart your own phone because this method does work. And if you need the wireless charger, please buy it from the link below. I may get some um, affiliate commission from it. I don't know, I've never done it. I just included it because I thought that's the one that works best. I tried it, so if you end up buying that one, I may get some commission, I may not, but you know, the purpose to this video is to really give you a solution that does work out there because Samsung does not have the solution. When you talk to them on the phone or chat on the website, they don't have a solution for it. They're just gonna give you a refurbished phone because they haven't found the solution yet. So again, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye-bye.